The brute strength of Mother Nature was all too evident today as crews worked to clear the aftermath of a tornado that's left one St. Bree, Saskatchewan man dead and another in the hospital. The two men were traveling along U.S. Highway 52 about six miles east of Bowbells when the passing twister lifted their car and carried it a quarter mile south of the road to its final resting place. A half mile to the west, the remains of Dennis Bowers' farm now serve as ground zero for this natural disaster. We look into the west and some clouds coming there and kept an eye on them and I had friends calling me and we're watching them from a distance and nothing really happening and all of a sudden we got the call that there was a tornado drop down. So I went to the basement and just hung out there until the fire department came. Bauer says that wait was one of the hardest parts as the sounds of strong wind and suction surrounded the basement he'd sought refuge in. When fire crews arrived to release him from the ruins of his home, his eyes were opened wide to the destruction at hand. I figured, well, the house is bad, whatever, but when I seen all the outbuildings were gone, I just knew how bad it was then, you know. The half dozen buildings that sat in his yard just an hour before were now reduced to piles of rubble and slabs of pavement. Bowers' 21 grain bins had been scattered to the wind like grains of sand, with much of the wreckage crossing the road to his neighbor's property. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of machinery was also destroyed, now looking more like crushed aluminum cans. I just can't believe some of the, how it moves some of the equipment around that air seeder. We just, nobody can believe that that's moved. Bauer spent much of this morning walking his property with an insurance agent and says now he'll wait to see what portion of these lost items will be covered. An outpouring of community support has already arrived on the scene and Bauer says he'll gladly accept all the help he can get. I just don't know where we're going to start yet, but I'm sure it'll come together real fast. But for the man who's seemingly lost everything, a feeling of gratitude remains for one possession he did retain, his own life. When you see the devastation around you and can walk away with no scratches on you, pretty big stuff. Near Bowbells, Dan Erdman, KX News.